Welcome, and today's lesson is on using scales to our advantage. So in the bake shop, we primarily have three types of scales. We have the balance scale, we have a digital scale, and we have a spring scale. Primarily for baking and pastry, we use this balance scale, and I'm gonna demonstrate how we use this scale. So right now you can see that this is set to zero. It has increments of 16 ounces, and each one has four graduations, so it can measure to within a quarter ounce. So right now, you can see the scale is balanced. What I wanna do is put a scoop on to hold my ingredients. So what I need to do is balance the scale. And what you're gonna see is we have counterbalances set up to go with different scoops. So it's important that if you grab specimen B for your scoop, you grab specimen B for your counterbalance. So if I put these on, both on right now, you should see that the scale balances itself out. So let's say what I wanted to do is measure a pound of oats. I could do this two ways. I could move my ounce graduation all the way to 16. But what's easier is to take a one pound weight. We have three different weights here. The red is one pound, the yellow is two pounds, and the orange is four pounds. And from there we can make up basically any uh, amount that we need. So right now, what this is calling for is to put a pound of oats in here. And if I get a pound of oats, the scale should balance itself. And as I get to close to what I think a pound is, I can slow down and put a little in at a time. So it's a little over. We'll take a little bit out. And you can see now that we have a pound of oats. If I wanted a pound two ounces, I'd leave my pound on. I could set this to two ounces, and I could add another two ounces of oats, okay? The second scale we use is our digital scale. This scale makes things even easier. The first thing I wanna do, sorry, is turn the scale on. And what I want to do is wait for it to zero out. The second choice, I can choose whether I want to measure in the US system or the metric system. Again, in this kitchen, we use all the US system. So what I would do is, if I want to measure something, I could put something else on, and I could hit zero. and it'll come back on and it should balance itself out at zero. Now what I do is, if I wanted five ounces, I could just keep adding until I get 5.0. The scale is gonna read 5.0 when it's five ounces. So that's exactly five ounces of oats. It makes it really nice because if I want to measure really accurately, really fine measurements, this scale is ideal for fine measurements. The third scale we use in baking and pastry is the spring scale. Now this scale is not very accurate. What we use this mostly for is if I needed eight ounces of pie dough and it wasn't, it was already made and I wanted to take eight ounces because I know at eight ounces of pie dough makes a nine inch pie crust. I could just cut it off and put it on this scale to measure. The second thing I would use this for is if I wanted to cut a whole lot of two ounce rolls, I would weigh them out on this because it would be very painstaking and take a very long time to use either one of the other two scales. So that's what the spring scale is used for. And that's it on scaling. Thank you.